setting up dimension styles. Now this is something which is usually a problem for new users to AutoCAD. I'm going to show you a few tips that you can follow to set up a brand new useful dimension style. The trick to setting up a successful style is having a style that's the right size for whatever it is you're drawing. If you're drawing something the size of a watch or a calculator you're going to need a dimension which is a lot smaller than something which you would use for something as large as a house or an aeroplane. Now to start off with you'll find that in any metric drawing you're going to have a style called ISO 25. Now if anyone has ever tried to use that style ISO 25 on something the size of a house you'll find that it's really small. So this is suitable for something which is perhaps the size of a calculator or a coffee cup. Now to create a new style, especially for architectural use, objects which are a lot larger, you're going to need to go to Format and Dimension Style. Or alternatively, you can click on the Dimension Style button at the end of your Dimension Toolbar. For those of you who are using the ribbon layout, you'll need to go to Annotate and on Dimensions, click on the little arrow on the right which will take you through to your Dimension Styles. Once we're in the Style Editor, you'll notice ISO 25 on the left hand side. With it selected, we're going to click on New on the right hand side and give the style a new name. Now the most important place to start is on the Fit tab. And this is where we can set the scale of our dimension style. Now this will depend on the output scale of your drawing. So for example, if you intend printing at 1 to 5, what you're going to do is set your scale down here to 5. In this case, I want it to be suitable for 1 to 100. So I'm going to set a scale of 100, which is going to scale this dimension style up by that factor. If you're an annotative user, you would simply tick this box over here. But if you understand what annotation scales are, you're probably not needing to use this tutorial. Onto the Lines tab. One recommendation I can make here is perhaps using the fixed length extension lines, and I'd recommend a factor of 7. This really is personal preference as to whether you have fixed length extension lines or not. Symbols and arrows. This is just a personal choice as to what types of arrows you would like. I find an arrowhead size of about two units quite useful. The text. By default it's set to the standard textile. You can choose any other textile that you may have set up and clicking on the button over here will take you through to your text styles where you could perhaps set up a new style. Something to note here is that any style that you use for dimensions needs to have a text height of zero because we'll set the text height over here. And I've found that a text height of somewhere around two is quite useful for most dimension styles. Primary units. I'd recommend taking the precision down to zero, certainly for architectural use, but this will depend from industry to industry. I'm going to click OK and also set my new style current. And this should give me a decent result. If I were now wanting to set up a style suitable for a different scale, I could click on New. Let's say this one is going to be for 1 to 50 use. I'm going to call it training 1 to 50. The only change I need to make here is on the Fit tab where I'll change the overall scale from 100 to 50. Let me set that as the current layer or the current style. And this should give me a style half the size of my 1 to 100 style. So make sure that you get that fit factor correct and you'll get a style which is perfect for the size object that you're drawing. 